good morning good morning and by good morning i mean good afternoon i did not vlog yesterday took the day off of vlogging it's getting rough up here guys my lips are always so chapped these days um anyway we just needed a day to just be with the babies and be with flynn and it was wonderful and that's gonna happen um a lot more often now i think because i've got two new babies and an awesome toddler that i want to hang out with it really feels like even though i only have two babies and a toddler it feels like i have three babies and a toddler because right now the babies, what they do is they eat bottles and they poop and they sleep. And so every two to three hours, I feed a baby a bottle and then I feed the other baby a bottle or Eric and I both feed a baby a bottle or I try to feed both babies a bottle at the same time. But then when I'm done with that, I'm not done because then I have to change them, get them to sleep or get them interested in something or whatever. And then I have to pump. So it's almost like I'm feeding two babies and then also pumping, which feels like I'm doing another feeding. So my life is just bottles and boobs, just bottles and boobs and very little time for anything else so we're real tired over here and I feel like a broken record now so I feel obnoxious even saying that but it's the truth and so some days I just don't pick up the camera and um, some days I will and so we'll see what we get also I'm already stressed because I was like I'm gonna post Miranda videos every single Monday and I'm like oh my god it's Wednesday and I haven't filmed it yet and to film it so we can edit it I'm a mess and I'm wearing Eric's shirt because my shirt's not at me so I'm wearing Eric's clothes and um, I'm gonna see what my babies are up to all right let's go <laughs> Why was your face shoved into the couch? Thank you, bud. I'm getting very creative with how I hold these babies at the same time. Oh, Maisie. Wesley's resting on my legs. And Maisie is resting in my arm. But it sounds like Wesley needs to poop. You gotta poop, Wesley? I gotta go. Flynn wanted to hold the baby. Oh, Flynn. You're doing such a good job. Yeah. Is he so cozy on you? He's so cozy on you. You're such a good big brother. That makes him feel better. It makes him feel better? Yeah. Yeah, you're such a good big brother. Good job, Flynn. Can I show you where to put this hand? Such a good big brother. Aww. He has butterflies on his shirt. He does. He's got lots of bugs on his shirt. He likes bugs just like you. Isn't he a cutie bug? Yeah. Is this a flashing light bug? Yeah, it looks like a flashing light bug. A, a lightning bug? Firefly? Yeah, firefly. Yes, firefly. There's a ladybug right there. Firefly. And a bumblebee. Firefly. You like holding him, Flynn? I I'll just show Grandma this time. You want to show Grandma? Okay, we can show Grandma. Do you want me to call her? Yeah, call her. Okay. You guys want to see what my house looks like right now? Hey. Yeah? Hey. You need something? Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm coming. What do you see, Wesley? I think he sees his brother Flynn. I think he does. Whoa! <laughs> You guys best friends? Yeah. My, I think he loves you too. I think he loves me too. Well, where's the other cutie book? She's right over here sleeping next to me. Oh yeah. What is she doing? She just fell asleep. She just started to take a nap like a silly girl. But he's awake. Yeah, he's awake, yeah. But what are you doing, Let's wait. She's looking around. Does he have a seatbelt? Oh, there is a seatbelt, yeah. <laughs> close your eyes. 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 Aw, that's a beautiful song. Yeah, Maisie's a little gassy. Oh, you're such a good little brother. Huh? What is it? <laughs> a cutie bug? Maybe. This, I mean, Wesley. Yeah, it's Wesley. I call it a maybe. A silly guy. Oop. No, he's trying to dance for me. He was trying to dance for you? Yeah. You want to teach him how to dance? Yeah. Yes, 
Okay guys, I am gonna be washing some bottles because that is my life these days is washing bottles. But I wanted to talk about something really quickly because I don't know really who watches my channel anymore. But in case there's any mommies out there who watch my channel, which I saw a comment today from my vlog yesterday that said, I bought tickets to your live show. I don't really watch Miranda, but I watch you. And um, so I bought a ticket to your live show to come see you and support you. And that makes me so happy for multiple reasons, but thank you if you get tickets to my shows. But the show, I don't have it completely written yet but I know that there will be a lot of me in it like there will be me singing and me talking about my life and whatever I don't know it'll be a fun comedy musical variety show it'll be fun so whether you like Miranda or not there will be a lot of me in it probably more me than Miranda this time around so if that interests you and you want to come see me on stage acting a fool and talking about my life I recommend you get tickets anyway that's not what I wanted to talk about I don't know how I got on that tangent what I wanted to say if there are a lot of moms watching if there are parents watching new parents parents older parents, whatever. There's a lot of like mom shaming in the mom community. Moms saying what you should or shouldn't do, different organizations and companies telling you products you have to have for your babies, things that cure colic or items that will make your baby sleep and help them sleep. You know, just all different types of things from companies and from other moms out there kind of guilting and making you feel like you're not a good parent. And when I had Flynn, a lot of this stuff really affected me. I thought I was doing something wrong, especially since Flynn had and I listened to what people said. I bought that freaking like crib, whatever that thing was called that everyone swears by. The snoo, I think is what it's called. Everyone says you have to have it. It's the most expensive crib on the planet. And I bought it because everyone said I had to have it and then it didn't even work for Flynn. So basically what I wanna say right now is one of my favorite things about having twins is it debunks all that garbage that people say to make you feel like you're not doing a good enough job or like you need certain products. So what I'm trying to say is that it proves to you that I don't even know how to say it. I'm just clearly so scatterbrained right now. I can't even think. Having two babies born from the same body, grown in the same womb, the same household, born the same day, two minutes apart, and they are so polar opposite different babies. It debunks all the crap that you're taught. Like your baby has to be fed this way. Your baby has to sleep this way. Your baby needs to use these products. All that you hear from other moms out there. Well, my baby, I'll tell you how to get your baby to sleep through the night because my baby, blah, 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 blah or this is the only product that works for blah, 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 blah. I'm not talking about moms who help you out with their advice. Like, oh, when my baby was little, this really helped me. You should try it. That's great. Love that kind of advice. I'm talking about people who say you have to do this, you have to do that. Products that are promoted to cure colic or this is the best bottle in the business. This is the best beans in the business. This is the best baby swing. This is the only baby swing your baby will love. This is the only crib your baby will sleep in. All that stuff total trash and total, totally used to just guilt and shame mom. I know I'm talking in circles and I'm not making any sense, but the reason I'm saying it all is because I have two babies that were born the same time, brought up in the same home, the same parents, and they're polar opposites, so different, and it's so cool to see how unique and different they are. But that even goes, not just for their personality, but with products I use. One baby likes one binky, the other baby hates it. One baby likes one ball, the other ball, baby hates it. One baby likes to be swapped a certain way, the other baby likes to be swaddled a different way. One baby likes sleeping this way, one baby likes sleeping that way. When I had Flynn, I was like, oh, everyone says that this crib works for their baby. Why doesn't it work for mine? What am I doing wrong? Like, when you have twins, it's so great because it kind of knocks out the whole, like, what am I doing wrong? Like, I'm messing up because my baby's not sleeping right or whatever. It's like, I have two babies, so I know, like, it's working for one, it's not working for the other. It's just because babies are different and every baby needs something different and every parent needs something different and and every decision you make is the right decision for you and your baby and your life because every baby is different. Don't let anyone shame you or guilt you into buying a certain thing or thinking there's only one way to do something because as a mama from twins, I can tell you that no one product works on every baby, not one strategy of calming a baby down or rocking a baby or putting a baby to sleep or soothing a baby works for both babies. Like if there's, every baby is so freaking different and it's really, really nice 
having the perspective of someone who has two babies at the same time and getting to watch how different they are and how they respond so differently to everything because I don't buy into all that crap. When I see stuff, like it drives me crazy when I see things online from other moms or um, companies that are like, well, your baby's not sleeping through the night because you're not doing this. And they'll tell you it's in a certain way you have to be trying to get your baby to fall asleep for the night or a product you have to have in order to get your baby to fall asleep for the night or stuff like that. And I'm like, oh, stop shaming moms because you're gonna make moms feel guilty if they don't have that product. You're gonna make a mom feel bad if she doesn't do it the way you're doing it. I'm so happy that that worked for you and your baby, but that doesn't mean it's gonna work for all babies because all babies are so freaking different. So if you're struggling with that out there, I struggled with that with Flynn a lot. And now that I have two babies, I'm like, oh, it wasn't me doing it wrong or bad. It was that the things that worked for other people didn't work for Flynn and that's okay and I'm seeing that proven to be true right in front of my eyes with the twins because it's everything everything with them they are polar opposite babies it has nothing to do with how I'm like raising them or whatever it's just who they are they're just different people and they have different personalities and they like different things and different things make them happy and that's what makes them awesome and that's what makes all babies awesome and that's why I think it's so stupid when people say there's one way to raise a baby there's one type of, I don't know I'm talking in circles now I'm really tired I don't even know what I've said at this point. Does that make any sense? I'm <laughs> really tired. <laughs> I'm gonna make cookies. Okay guys, it's time to get my snacks for the evening. And then I'm gonna say goodnight to you. I'll get my cup and then we have like three feeds for the night. And I'm always like, what if, can they see behind me? We have a bunch of old boba and protein powder. What do I have? My, I'm like always embarrassed by like what's in my pantry. I don't know why. Does anyone else ever feel like that? Like I'm like, don't look at what's in my pantry. Um, anyway, so we have three feeds basically throughout the night that I wake up and I'm like, oh. I usually put the final stuff in there is crunch berries because that's a really yummy, sugary, delicious, yes, I'm just shoving my hand right in there. Get over it. Sugary, yummy snack. That's like a nice treat for the final feeding when I'm so tired. That's the last layer. The next layer will be checks. And I don't know what the top layer is gonna be, but I think my cookies are done. So let me get those out of the oven. Let's go see what we've got going on in this oven. Almost done, not quite. But yeah, I need a snack in the middle of the night because I'm pumping and we're always awake way longer than you would think feeding the babies. Like it's always like an hour at least to be awake to feed them both and make their bottles and pump and all that stuff. So like I get tired or hungry. Oh my God, and tired. <gasps> oh, I didn't even know we had this. <gasps> Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Wait, I wanna see how stale it is. Smells cinnamony. Oh, crunchy goodness. At the top. So it is full. And also, Flynn comes in in the morning for the final morning feed, and he likes to eat my snacks with me. So that's why I put crunch berries at the bottom because he really likes crunch berries too. So I've got my yummy cup of goodness, and I have my water, and now I'm gonna have my cookies. So I'm just gonna take them out of the oven. I think they're done. Too gooey. Anyway. I feel like I'm living in a dream, in a haze, and I, it, I am tired. And I think that this is just how this phase of life is because I'm just so exhausted. And I remember this with Flynn. Like when I try to think back of the first couple months with Flynn, I'm like, I can barely remember it because I was just so tired. So it's a nice combination of like desperately trying to enjoy all these moments with the babies, but also just trying to survive because I'm drowning. So I don't even know what I film. I don't know what any of these videos are like. They're probably all horrible, all the videos I've been posting, all my vlogs. Like I don't even know that there's any content in any of these videos. Or is it just me talking about how I'm tired? I'm sorry. Oh, my cookies. Mm, that's good enough. I'll eat raw cookie dough, I don't care. Anyway, yeah, I don't have much else to say, so I'm going to take my snacks upstairs, feed my babies, and go to bed while I'm pump. And my hope and my plan is that tomorrow I can film a Miranda video, but I doubt that will happen. We'll see. We've had my mom here, my dad here, and Eric's parents here. We've had so many people in and out of the house helping, which has been amazing, and we're so freaking lucky for all the help. Um, I know we're so fortunate. I don't know how people do it without help. You guys are amazing and my heroes, and oh my God, as single parents, you are elite. Like. I don't know how you do it. I'm, I'm so impressed by you because I'm so tired and we have help. So I don't know. Anyway, the point I was trying to make is that my help is gone. <laughs> All family is gone now and they've been gone for a couple days. So Corey still comes over and helps because he edits and he'll like help out while he's here. But other than that, like all family is gone now. So it's just me and Eric, which is lovely, but also it's a little bit harder. So yeah. Okay, I'm gonna eat my cookies and put bed. Love you guys. And I'll see you someday. Bye.